Hey there, my friends. I want to really quickly just show you another little plugin that we made. It's called Project Panorama Scheduled Notifications. I'm going to take you on a real fast tour. This will only take a minute. You see that I've got a project pulled up here and set up in Project Panorama. If you've been using Project Panorama already, you should be familiar with this interface. As you can see, I've populated it with a lot of data, a bunch of milestones, phases, and tasks, and so on and assign some users to be related to this project. But let's run over to the settings to see what scheduled notifications can do for us. Over in the Project Panorama settings, we head to the Notifications tab, and we'll see Scheduled Notifications set up right here. See the first field is an option to put in a license key if you have that. And then below that, we can configure as many scheduled notifications as we like. You see the first one that I've configured is set to send Hourly, the options below are daily, weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. Hourly might seem like a lot, but who knows, leaving the options there. Recipients, comma separated list of emails. This is leaving it a little bit flexible, just in case your recipients are not registered users on the site. You want to put in whatever email. They don't need to be a user. They'll get it if it's a comma separated email here. Select the project from whatever projects you have going on on this site. I've only got a couple on this demo site. You might have many more. You're a productive person, right? Here's the subject line the recipients will see in their email. You can even include dynamic string replacement tags in this subject line as well, not just in the body. Let's get down to the body. This is where we punch in all the information that our project participants might be interested in knowing. And we can make a bunch of these different emails and we can include as little or as much information as we want to. I just set this one as a, up as an example. If you go to the page for Project Panorama Scheduled Notifications, you'll see screenshots of this as well. Uh, and below is a list of all the dynamic tags. So you might want to play with these. You can just drop a bunch of these into uh, a notification and just see what they do. That's kind of fun. Um, but uh, the documentation will outline a little bit more uh, the output of every different tag. And this is just a label for your own purposes to remind you what this update is uh, for and what it does when you have it collapse. And you'll see all of those options again when you add a new notification. And man, we can just go crazy. Let's just add new notifications. I mean, you can do this all day. How many projects do you got going on? How many people are in these projects? Just give them all a new notification. That'd be totally rad. Save, and you are off to the races. Those will be saved as an event which will run on the schedule which you defined hourly daily weekly bi-weekly or monthly and i'll throw in one more thing if you go and install a plugin that's free on the wordpress.org repository called wp control c-r-o-n-t-r-o-l just look it up it's free by a developer named john blackboard use that plugin and you can just view a list of all the registered crons on your site. Crons are scheduled events that your site executes on a time schedule. So you can use that free plugin just to see all the crons that your WordPress site is already running and verify that your scheduled notifications are in that list. That's just a pro tip if you're curious. Anyway, thanks for watching the video.